Hello, welcome to March's Fictionary. I am so glad that we're doing March's Fictionary because it means we are nearly out of those crap months. Once March is done, I am happy because I just find the first three months of the year so dark and gloomy and just, I feel like they're always such a drain on my mental health, but we're nearly out of them. We're doing Fictionary CPR for March. This is a board game that I've created. If you don't know by now, it is based on Pictionary. There are multiple different categories with multiple different prompts in each category. We have got people and places, appearance, title, difficult, and any book. In the last Fictionary video, you guys suggested me loads of new prompts. Thank you so much for that. I have not put them in the game yet, <laughs> and I'm sorry, <laughs> but I have to cut new cards and things, and it's a little bit more faffy so I need to dedicate some time to doing that and I didn't dedicate it before filming this video so sorry that will be coming soon thank you so much to everybody who has submitted one but today we're going to be drawing five prompts for March I have one book I would like to get on this TBR however that one book I might well start next so it might clip into the edge of February. That book is The Reappearance of Rachel Price by Holly Jackson. This is Holly Jackson's latest book and it comes out in April. This is a proof so I would like to try and get to this one before its release date but honestly I'm kind of vibing this one next when I finish my current read so I might well read this in February but we're gonna just try and get it on the March TBR anyway. Other than that I honestly don't think there's a great deal. I don't really feel like there's anything I have to read. We haven't yet decided on our Patreon book club pick for March and April so I don't know what that will be. I'm kind of free to just put on whatever I want really, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not. First roll, we have three. One, two, three. <laughs> Straight onto a difficult. Right, the first roll was a difficult, of course it was. I do think some of the difficults were difficult at the time I created this, but are no longer difficult. Like one of them is read on a Kindle. And I don't really feel like that's difficult so much anymore because I recently got a new Kindle and I'm intending to read more on it, but I didn't read so much on my Kindle before. So it kind of limited my library. So that's why it's in there. But I feel like I need to just generally, everything's going to get a revamp for next month's Fictionary. I'm, I'm holding myself accountable by saying it here. <laughs> Because now you've suggested the prompts, I have to actually put the prompts in the game. Anyway, roll number one, difficult. I have one minute to find this book from a book sub box. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard. I have lots to choose from. We are going to go in my office because I kind of have made an accidental book subscription box shelf. So a lot of these ones are book subs and also some of these ones. In fact, actually, this one, Voyage of the Damned, I think this was the last Alumacrate box in... Was it the January one? And I think this looks really good, so maybe we'll just go for this one. That was so easy. We've got Voyage of the Damned by Francis White. This was the Illumicrate book for January, I think. Look at those braid edges. Also, I really like the, um, what are these? End pages, <laughs> because there's like this little map of a ship with all the rooms and things. This is a murder mystery on a ship with a fantasy element, I think, which sounds kind of fun. So we're going for this one. Roll number two. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Got difficult. Again. Right. Closed eye pick. Okay. Okay. Fine. <laughs> what I think I'm gonna do for this is I'm gonna go in my office and I'm gonna face my horror shelves. My horror thrillery section. And I'm gonna close my eyes because I rearrange those shelves so often but I actually don't think I could recount the order the books are in, whereas if I do it in here, I kind of know what I'm pointing at. So I'm just literally gonna shut my eyes. I think I've spun around in circles before, but honestly, there's there's camera gear and stuff on those shelves and I don't wanna knock that off. So I'm just gonna shut my eyes, squiggle my finger around and we'll see what we get. <laughs> okay, evidence that my eyes are gonna be shut, ready? Shut eyes, here we go. <laughs> right, I don't wanna whack the camera gear. I, I don't wanna go for this shelf, I wanna go down here. Right, we're gonna go lower. This is the shelf that we're going to do this for. Right, ready? <laughs> if I've already read it, I'll just do this again, right? Here, this. What is it? The Twisted Ones. Oh, that was a bad camera angle. Sorry. Have Wait, hang on. Did I listen to an audiobook of that? I don't think I've read this one. No, I haven't read this one. I got this last year in my book shopping in Oxford for horror books vlog. So, okay. Right, this one. Okay, we've got The Twisted Ones by T. Kingfisher. I haven't read anything yet by T. Kingfisher, I don't think. There's some kind of thing in me that feels like I read this as an audiobook, but I don't think I have. The front cover really creeps me out. I have this thing about elongated limbs, don't like it, really don't like it, and um, it, it has multiple different elongated limbs. Was that a dog? Anyway. Cool, cool. I think that was actually probably the best way for me to pick a book, given that I have no idea what I want to put on this TBR, so that worked quite well. Okay, roll number five, three, one, two, three, appearance. For appearance, we have got 
features a colour I'm currently wearing. Well that's easy, I'm wearing a black top and blue jeans and so many books are either black or blue. In fact, it's blue and it's got black bits in it that, you know, black, blue, it's literally my outfit. It is actually my outfit. Okay, great. This is now on my TBR. This is going kind of well. Two books left. Okay. Two rolls to go. Three. One, two, three. Any book. But I don't know what I want it to be. I actually, I don't know what I want my any book to be. I have no idea. Maybe something on my Kindle? I don't know. I didn't actually want an any book this time. I wanted the guidance of Fictionary to, to show me where to go. Um, I don't know. Let's get my Kindle. Actually, I do know on the journey to getting my Kindle, which I did not film because I just thought I was walking to get my Kindle, I walked past this, which is The Paper Palace by Miranda Cowley Heller. This one I picked up recently for an episode of Cover to Cover and it sounded really intriguing. It wasn't the book I read in the video for that Cover to Cover episode. And if you do want to watch that, it is linked up here. But I think this one sounds really good as well. And I keep looking at it on my shelves because it's in front of me in my bed. So I keep looking at it in the evenings thinking that sounds interesting. It is so not something I would normally read because it's around an affair, but it's about a woman who is happily married and well, actually, I don't know if she's happily married. She's married. She's maybe not happily married given what happens. She's married <laughs> for a while and she's on holiday with her family and she ends up, I think, sleeping with somebody or at least doing some stuff with them by this lake at night. And the whole story is telling us the events that led up to that point over the last 24 hours and more. So I'm kind of intrigued by it. Totally not something I would usually go for, but it keeps staring at me and I keep staring back at it. So I've put it on the TBR. Okay, final roll. The weather is getting darker and darker. Five, one, two, three, Sunny book again, four, five. <laughs> okay. Well, I did go and get my Kindle anyway when I was going in before. So we'll go back to having a look at what's on my Kindle. Just to lure you in, I am doing an unboxing and a decorating vlog for this uh, Kindle, which is coming very soon. It's already filmed, edited and scheduled. It's just, I'm trying to fit it in with when it works around other videos. So that one is coming very soon. Okay, do I want like thriller, fantasy, maybe fantasy? I should be setting a timer for this, really, shouldn't I? I'm being a bit cheeky with my own system. I don't know what to pick because I don't know, like, if I want to commit to starting a huge series. I'm not sure. Maybe a thriller instead, because that's always a fun, fast-paced read, hopefully. I have a couple of Steve Kavanaugh. Steve Kavanaugh is just a very fun, fast-paced writer. I have The Final Girls by Riley Sager. I haven't read any Riley Sager. Very intrigued to see what I think because I've heard really mixed things. I also have The Silent Patient by Alex Mikulides, which I do want to read because I recently read The Fury and I've also read The Maidens, so I kind of want to finish reading Alex Mikulides' published works. So maybe that. Should we go for that? That has been on my TBR so many times before. I don't know if I'm actually hopeful that I'll read it, but we're gonna we're gonna go for The Silent Patient by Alex Mikulides. It's a little bit of a variety pick this month. For a book box pick, we've got Voyage of the Damned by Francis White. For a closed eye pick, we've got The Twisted Ones by T. Kingfisher. For any book, we have The Reappearance of Rachel Price by Holly Jackson. No, wait, that wasn't any book. That was a colour I'm wearing. For a colour I'm currently wearing, The Reappearance of Rachel Price by Holly Jackson. For any book, The Paper Palace by Miranda Cowley Heller. And another any book is The Silent Patient by Alex Mikulides. It's an interesting interesting stack. It's heavy on the kind of mystery intrigue level actually. I didn't do that deliberately but all of these three I feel like are going to be like this. Actually this one probably as well and then uh, the what's it called? The Silent Patient is the mystery thriller thing as well. So it's a heavy thrillery mystery month for March. Mystery March. March mystery month. Thank you so much for watching me picking my March DBR. I promise for April I will put the new prompts in, but I have like recycled all the old prompts from the last year that I haven't used back into the box now. So we are at full prompt capacity. Well, not full capacity, but we've got all the prompts back in. I'm gonna go through and take a couple out because there's things like enemies to lovers and things that I, I don't really know what books have got that as a trope in them. And sometimes I don't really wanna know. So I think I need to remove a couple like that that just don't really work anymore. So basically what I'm saying is in April, Hopefully there will be new prompts. There will be, there will be new prompts. I'm gonna cut the cards, it's gonna happen. I'm doing it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I have got so many fun videos planned for you over the next few months and actually for the rest of the year, to be honest, I'm so excited about my content that's coming your way. So please do hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to be notified when I post. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.